pretty much 98% of the planet has now had to stop. Um, and they have more time. So I think part of the goal is to form better habits that are better for each of us. And hypnosis can help with that. Uh, hello, Doc. My pleasure to be in here. <laughs> hello, Stacey, and thank you for having me. Uh, thank you, Tim. Uh, can, you, can you give me a little bit more information about your work, your job? Uh, um, what kind of people are they coming to you? Yeah, well, I, I don't really believe that I have to work or I have a job because actually <laughs> I really enjoy what I do. It's a little bit of a, a cliche, I know, but um, I don't think of it as hard work. I am I'm a complementary therapist and I do a few things. I originally trained as a healer. Um, my speciality, though, is hypnosis and regression therapy. Um, and I get all sorts of people coming to me, all sorts of people from the, the very spiritual to the slightly spiritual to the people who are on a, a journey to become a healer. And then I get the business people. I get the businesswoman and the businessman. I get doctors sometimes. I get people quite often who have problems that they haven't been able to solve through other ways and often i'm the the 15th person that they consult and they say i've been to the doctor i've been to the chiropractor i've been to this person i've been to that person and then they say can regression help and you know the whole idea about regression um in particular and hypnosis to to a degree as well is that we go into the subconscious the problem the source of the problem is always in the same place. It's always in the subconscious mind. And when we can go to the source of that, then we can unlock it. So I, I get a whole load of people for a whole load of different issues. Um, and that's what part of what makes my job so enjoyable, if it is a job. Yeah, it's your passion. <laughs> my passion. You can hear it, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Um, can, you, can you go a little bit deeply in... Um, what is the difference between hypnosis and regression? Okay. Um, hypnosis is really uh, a broader term um, that, in, that has a lot of um, separate techniques within it. Um, hypnosis, you know, commonly it's associated with stopping smoking, with uh, weight loss, with uh, fear of flying, public speaking. And hypnosis tends to, you know, um, tends to help quite a lot because we're going into the subconscious mind. We're putting a lot of positive suggestion into the subconscious mind. We're he helping people to reframe the problem in the subconscious mind. Regression is like a, a speciality within hypnosis. And regression is always about going to the source of the problem, wherever that is, whether that's in the current life, or whether it's in a past life, or whether it's in the ancestral memories of a person's family, but it's about specifically going back to the original event where the problem started. And as you know, part of my belief system is that as a soul, we incarnate multiple times, and so we carry some of the soul's unfinished business from lifetime to lifetime. It's not everybody's belief system, I, I know, but you know, regression is, as I say, it's sometimes past life, sometimes current life. So regression is really about going to the original event. That's really what it's all about. Yeah, uh, that is the, the, big, the big question for me. Uh, how we understand we are in the regression or progression? Well, progression is going forward. So okay. progression is about, um, you know, a lot of, I, know, I know a lot of people who do... Um, what do they call it? Future life progression. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's about seeing how your life will be going forward or a future life. And that's, you know, that's kind of interesting. That can be helpful. Um, personally, I'm a much, I'm a fan of history. You know, I, I studied history at school and I believe that quite simply we are products of our history. Some people will deny that. Um, I don't believe you can. Everything in the world that's happening is a product of history. You know, it's a product of what's happened before. And that's who we are. We are, you and I here today, we're, 
we're evidence of that. We are who we are because of what's happened to us and for us and with us and all those other things. And so I'm much more of a fan of we get, when there's a problem, we go back, we find out what the problem was, where it started, and we transform it in some way so it's no longer a problem in the current life. The whole goal of regression is not to get stuck in the problem, it's really to release the energy of the problem. How do you start your journey? Ah, by accident. I, um, I used to work in corporate for many, many years and I was, um, I was working really long hours. I had a great job. I had good money. I had a big house. I had a fast car. And um, in 19, I don't know, 1990 something, I went on holiday with my girlfriend at the time to Machu Picchu in Peru. Yeah. And when we, when we got to Machu Picchu, I, I still don't know quite what happened, but at Machu Picchu, when we, we trekked up the hill or the hills for, for four days, and on the fourth day we were at Machu Picchu, and as I sat there, I knew that I needed to change my life. I just had this very deep knowing, and I knew that I needed to change my life. And it took me, you know, it took me a couple of years to pull my life apart. It, you know, I resigned from my job eventually. I sold my house. I sold my car. Got a new girlfriend. Um, you know, and uh, what I did was I travelled for a couple of years. Um, and as I travelled, I kind of found out I lost my old corporate identity to some degree. You know how we get so wrapped up in our jobs, and I you know, became very curious about who I was. So I started investigating holistic therapies. I, you know, uh, I met a shaman. I met a, you know, I met a medium. I met all sorts of interesting people as I, as I was traveling. And when I came back to the UK, I had this idea that I had to get my chakras fixed. And I didn't really know what my chakras were at the time, to be absolutely honest with you. But I, um, and I found my way to a place called the College of Psychic Studies. I did a two-year healing course. I studied Reiki. And at the same time, I had a, my big problem was that I smoked. And I could stop smoking for three weeks, for six months. And um, in my gym, around about the same time I started training to be a healer, there was an advert hypnosis to stop smoking. So I went to the hypnotherapist. And I, I tried to stop smoking 10, 20, 30 times. I went to hypnosis and I stopped smoking like that. And I was like, Ooh, how did that happen? <laughs> how did that happen? And so as a result of that, I found my way to a hypnosis course and I ended up studying hypnosis and I kind of got fascinated with hypnosis and then, then with regression and past lives and everything that's involved with it. So, you know, I kind of swapped one addiction for another in a way, you know, but um, it, it's something which has been a passion. I've, I've seen a lot of change within myself as a result of that all the work that I've done in the studying and working on myself. And I've seen a lot of change with the people who've come as clients and mm. I train other people to do hypnosis and regression. So I've seen a lot of people, a lot of change with the people who's come and learn how to do that as well. And, um, you know, I think that's, uh, you know, we look around the world today, we can say we've had a heck of a big change in the past three or four weeks. And I think, you know, for some people that's really hard, but for others, it's much easier because we've kind of embraced change quite a lot over the past 10 or 15 years or however long we've been on this journey. Change has just been part of it. It just so happens that we have a really big change a few weeks ago. Yeah. What about the stones behind you? <laughs> I love well, it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the things that I do as well. I buy and sell crystals. Um, and, um, you know, again, that's a little bit of a passion. Ever since I was, uh, you know, a young kid, I've kind of, I've, you know, been interested without ever really doing anything with them. I've always kind of picked them up and put them down. And um, I guess about 15 years ago, I just started buying and selling a little bit on a small scale. And now I have, um, you know, now I have a room full of crystals and um, actually, I'm, I'm pretty busy. I'm about to go to the post office when we finish this interview. I'm kind of in the post office almost every day at the moment, sending crystals, yes? Yeah? So um, yeah. I buy and sell quite a lot. So uh, if anybody's watching who's interested in crystals, then just find my details and I, you know, I kind of show you around my collection by WhatsApp or, you know, Zoom or whatever, yeah? Yeah. How do you feel? when the people they come into you they work with you and after that you see the 
so many things they're just changing their life is changing how you feel do you know when i first started doing it and you know i i was amazed i was like how did that happen um and um you know many years later i take it a little bit for granted in a way yeah you know sometimes when you know i've got one particular client at the moment that i can't talk about who's experiencing what i believe is going to be an amazing change in that person's life um but you know I, I, and i i am like wow that's incredible but it's almost as though i just expect it i expect change because i i believe in you know i believe in the power of what i do i believe in people and people's ability to make changes when they're really motivated when we're you know when when clients are motivated and that's one of the keys you know of you know that determines my client's success how motivated are they do they really want it when they really want it they'll do it you know they'll do it at all uh, whatever it is they'll turn the world on their head and i can you know i help a lot of people with that so um i love it I, as i say i guess i take it a little bit for granted and i expect it <laughs> because you know the process works how you can help the people right now i mean yes they cannot come to you but are do you working online yeah i'm i'm working online mainly via zoom um sometimes skype but i found that zoom on the whole there were some problems a few weeks ago but on the whole it's probably the best platform to use yeah. so i'm i'm doing you know i'm seeing clients for for hypnosis for regression online um and uh you know i'm always available uh for that i i'm running a course at the moment online um a course called manifestation through the chakras which is about the chakra system and how we create our reality that's live and online on thursdays that started um last week um i'm going to be doing another course that i have running um uh about past lives in a couple of weeks time i'm going to be starting that um so yeah i'm available online okay yeah. um i'm always available <laughs> yeah because that is not the job it's not work it's it, it doesn't feel like work you know <laughs> okay um can you give just a little bit tips about uh, this course uh where start start the last week yeah um the course is called manifestation through the chakras it's seven weeks um one week for each of the major chakras last week we did the crown chakra and you know there are several goals in the course one of them is more information about each chakra the chakra system is the the energy system that corresponds to the physical body each chakra links into a gland in the endocrine system so it's really important for our immune system um so each week we go through a chakra and we talk about the chakra but we also do a meditation a healing meditation so a different one every week for each chakra and we also do some sound healing that's the other thing that I do I work with sound as a um an energy healing frequency so we do a sound healing for each particular chakra so um if i say it myself the course is good um <laughs> and it's um it's uh it's 98 pounds for the seven weeks each week is recorded so if anybody wants to join when they see this interview the week that they've missed is recorded every week is recorded and you have the all of the recordings for about three months or so and you can download the meditation separately you can download uh load the uh, the sound healing you can download the information there's a lot of value in the course um and there's a discount coupon somewhere if anybody signs up i think it expires at the end of april but if you put in the code watched the video when you get to uh, the checkout then um, you get 10% discount perfect so dear friends just put the comment below and uh, the word is watched the video the video so i will contact you and send the link uh, and directly the contact uh, um, with the duck so yeah that will be really nice it's better to join sooner rather than later because then you can do it with the group we're live on thursday nights but as i said it's recorded duck what about this period of our life what you can prefer to offer us i know is tricky moment 
but this stuff to, to work with yourself with the energy regression hypnosis I think will be more helpful with the, most of us you know I, I think there are many many aspects to what's happening at the moment if we look at the outside world there's a lot of fear and uncertainty um, as humans we have a, a choice really of whether we um, embrace that Personally, I choose not to embrace the fear and uncertainty, but I know for other people it's quite difficult. So I think one of the big, big lessons um, for humanity is to find themselves, to find peace within themselves, to work out how to let go of stress and tension and deal with it more more easily to be able to process it more easily some people can do that quite naturally other people take these this energy of fear this energy of stress into themselves more easily and i think hypnosis is a great tool for that i've got all sorts of things i have a self-hypnosis course online i have an app which costs 99 pence called hypnosis for transformation i have lots of little simple tools and i think you know i think the lesson is to form better habits yeah i think we had a habit of running around like crazy up until three or four weeks ago pretty much 98 percent of the planet has now had to stop um and they have more time so i think part of the goal is to form better habits that are better for each of us and hypnosis can help with that yeah Thank you so much. Lovely. Thank you so much for having me um, on this and interviewing me, Stacey. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for all the work that you're doing for all of the people that you're, uh, you're interviewing. Thank you.